you must have watched on the television or read in newspapers about the flights being cancelled because of bad weather. What if during a cricket match the weather suddenly becomes cloudy followed by heavy rains? You often feel disappointed as the match has to be called off. On the contrary, fishermen consider a windy day to be lucky for them as it is a favorable weather to sail on their boat and spread their net to catch fish. How do rotation and revolution of earth affect weather and climate? Rotation of earth. The earth rotates around its own axis which is an imaginary line drawn through the earth's center. 1. The spin takes 24 hours to complete. 2. The earth's axis joins the north pole, the imaginary center and the south pole. 3. The axis of the earth is tilted at an angle of 23 by 2 degree with vertical line and 66 by 2 degree with horizontal line. This is angle of inclination of the axis and it is always in the same direction. 4. A. Our source of light and heat is the sun which is stationary. As the earth spins only half of it gets light at any time the circle that separates dark portion from lighted portion is called the circle of illumination b the diffused light just before sunrise is called dawn and the diffused light before night set in is called twilight the length of time of twilight and dawn increases as we move from equator to the poles revolution of earth The earth revolves round the sun on an elliptical orbit at an average speed 29.79 km per second. At this speed it takes 365 1/4 four days to complete one revolution round the sun. We have 365 days in a year, but every 4 years the extra quarter of a day adds up to become a full day. This brings the leap year with 29th day of February. The distance of the sun from earth varies between 152 into 10 raised to power 6 km and 147 into 10 raised to power 6 km. The tilt of the earth and insolation. The insolation is the quantity of sun rays reaching the earth. The tilt of the earth always remains in the same direction. The polar regions get much less heat. A. The sun rays that reach the poles are slanted and they have to travel longer distance of earth's atmosphere. B. At poles an amount of sun ray covers a much larger area thus the rise in temperature is much less. C. An important factor is that much of the solar heat in the form of radiation that reaches the ground in polar region is reflected back because of the ice cover. You will notice that when the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun it experiences arctic summer when north pole is tilted away from the sun it experiences arctic winter effects of rotation and revolution we know that the time period between sunrise and sunset is called the day while after the sun sets till the sun rises again it's called the night During the day we get sun rays which are electromagnetic radiations these rays carry huge amount of heat energy it is for this reason day temperature is higher than night temperature as during the night we don't get direct sun rays a when a part of the earth indian subcontinent is tilted towards the sun the days are long and warm this is summer b Our part of earth gradually moves away from the sun bringing cooler weather. This is autumn. C. As the our part of earth moves farthest from the sun, the days are shorter and cold. This is winter. D. We experience spring as our part of earth again begins to tilt towards the sun. Weather: hot, humid, cold, windy, dry, cloudy. These are all weather words and tell you what the weather is like. Weather changes have a great impact on our lives. So before planning for activities like organizing a school sports or going out for vacation to a hill station, it is important to know weather conditions in advance. Newspapers therefore publish weather reports and weather forecasts daily for the benefit of all. Weather report is also an integral part of news bulletins in television and radio. A sample of week's weather report from the newspaper is given. 
The daily weather report carries information of temperature, humidity, and rainfall. The report includes weather conditions that prevailed the previous day and a forecast for the current day. You all have watched the weather report on television where the satellite pictures of the earth tell us where a storm is blowing, which places are expected to have rainfall or snow, and which places will have calm weather. Weather forecasting is one of those activities that unite nations in a common effort from which people benefit worldwide. It is based on the readings made by the Meteorological Department which studies various aspects of weather scientifically. Today, there is access to pictures from satellites with special remote sensing instruments that are continuously surveying the Earth. Computer programs analyze the data quickly and make enormous number of calculations. Weather tips 1. Don't look at the sun directly. 2. Prefer to stay indoors during a bad weather. 3. If you are outside during a thunderstorm, stay away from tall objects like electric poles and tall trees. 4. Stay on the lowest floor of the building during a cyclone. We can define weather as the day-to-day -day conditions of the atmosphere at a particular place at a given time. The factors or elements determining the state of atmosphere at a place include temperature, air pressure, humidity, rainfall and conditions of sunshine. Weather conditions are temporary and can change over short periods of time. You must have experienced thunderstorm and spells of heavy rain suddenly after a bright sunny day. In other words, the weather phenomena is quite unpredictable. Climate Climate is the composite of average weather conditions over a period of many years. A minimum period of 35 years is necessary to draw dependable averages. Our country generally experiences the tropical monsoon climate. The cooler months are November to February, while April to June are the hot months. During mid-June to September, one experiences the monsoon. India being a vast country shows a variety in its climatic conditions which present many contrast. Information charts about climate are prepared with a lot of care. Following tables would enable you to understand the mean temperature and rainfall for Mumbai and Delhi. Weather Wisdom What causes weather changes? The sun? It is the ultimate source of energy on earth. When you go out in the sun, you can feel the heat coming from it. A large part of the heat is absorbed and reflected by the land, water and air. This plays an important role in determining weather of a place. The sun changes the form of water and affects the movement of air which brings about a change in weather. We can calculate the mean temperature of a place for a month as follows. A. Average of temperatures recorded during a month is taken. B. Average figures of a particular month are taken for many years and their mean is calculated. C. Climatic conclusions are then deciphered. What do you observe in the climatic chart of the two cities, Mumbai and Delhi? While it rains heavily in the months of June, July, August and September in Mumbai, Delhi receives much less rainfall during these months. The range of temperature in Mumbai is small, while the temperature in Delhi has a big difference not only in its summer and winter temperatures, but also in day maximum and night minimum temperatures. Differences between weather and climate Weather, climate 1. Weather is the atmospheric condition of a place on earth on daily basis. Climate is the averaged atmospheric condition of a larger area over a prolonged period of time for more than 10 years. 2. Weather can change from one day to next. Climate is a stable pattern of weather of a place and generally remains unchanged. 3. Weather is assigned to a small area. Climate is assigned to a large area, that is, for a region or a country. 4. Weather conditions include factors like temperature, rainfall and humidity of a place. Climate includes average temperature, rainfall, etc., which prevail in a region. Season 
the 12 months of a year can be divided into different climatic pattern this we call the seasons such as spring summer autumn and winter it is important to understand that the seasons in the northern and southern hemisphere are reversed when it is summer in the northern hemisphere it is winter in the southern hemisphere did you notice people in south africa wearing warm clothes while the ipl tour was going on and we in india were sweating in summer this is again because of the earth's permanent inclination of its axis and earth's revolution around the sun climatic adaptation of animals climate is the most important element of the natural environment the types of organisms and where they are found depends on it all living organisms have adapted in different ways to the climate in which they live we shall study the effect of climate on the adaptation of animals living in polar regions and in the tropical rainforest polar regions constitute the arctic and the antarctic regions some countries belonging to this region are greenland alaska finland siberia and the entire of antarctica continent the tropical rainforest as the name suggests are the regions in the tropics india malaysia indonesia brazil and kenya are examples of some of the countries where these forests are found one the polar regions these are the world's coldest driest iciest and windiest regions the coldest temperature recorded in the high island regions of antarctica was as low as minus 89 degrees celsius in winter going up to minus 30 degrees celsius in summer there is no permanent settlement in antarctica the arctic region is sparsely polluted and people live on the highlands along the sea coast Normal winter temperatures are as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius while the warmest month of June has a temperature of about 10 degrees Celsius due to the tilt of the earth's axis while it is orbiting the sun the polar regions do not get any sunshine for some months of the year animal life there is very little vegetation in the polar region the population of animal life is also very small As these regions have very low temperature the animals have adapted themselves well this makes them compete for food protect themselves from predators and breed some adaptations as in birds is to migrate to warm climates thus avoiding the harsh months of winter birds fly thousands of kilometers to warmer climates and breed siberian crane is one such example that migrates to different parts of india like haryana Rajasthan and Bihar during winter months large warm blooded animals like polar bear reindeer musk ox and wolves can survive harsh winter they lose less heat since they have a small surface as compared to their large size they are also well insulated by a thick layer of fat and dense fur whales seal and walrus living in the sea also have protective layers of fat Adaptations of polar bear. One, the dense fur made of keratin keeps the polar bear warm and dry. The white fur merges with the snowy background and hence protects them from predators. Two, polar bears have thick layer of fat under their skin called blubber. They are as thick as 11 cm. This provides complete insulation from cold. Three, ears are short to prevent heat loss. Four. The feet has soft bumps which provide traction on eyes and short tough claws grip the eyes. 5. Polar bears are strong swimmers and are known to swim at a speed of 100 km per hour. 6. Their nostrils can remain closed under water for over 2 minutes. They can dive under water up to depths of 6 meters to catch fish. their front paws propel them through water while hind feet act like rudders adaptations of penguins penguins are birds most closely identified with the antarctic regions their unique features are one they are birds but designed for life in the sea they cannot fly but are very good swimmers two a coat of fat which is up to 3 cm thick helps them to survive in freezing conditions three the feathers are stiff and very tightly packed with act like a waterproof coat four the dark plumage absorbs heat five on land most penguins 
walk upright on their hind feet. They can rest on their heel and tail, thereby reducing contact with cold ice. 6. Penguins have a unique social behavior. They live in huge clusters and also huddle close together to keep warm. 7. Unlike the flying birds, they have very solid bones which allow them to stay underwater effortlessly. 8. Their wing-shaped flippers make them fly underwater at speeds of 14 to 15 km per hour. 9. Their steam-lined body and webbed feet make them good swimmers. 2. The Tropical Rainforest The tropics represent hot climate where the mean annual temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. The sun is almost overhead in the sky. There is very little variation in the length of day and night. This region is characterized by very heavy rainfall. Indian tropical rainforests exist in the western Ghats and the northern eastern regions of Assam. In other parts of the world, tropical rainforests are found in the Amazon Basin in Central America, the Congo Basin in Central Africa and Malaysia, Indonesia and New Guinea in Southeast Asia. The adaptation of animals in the rainforest make them compete better for food and survival. The warm temperature and the vertical habitat contribute to the abundant animal life. There are three clear-cut strata on which the entire forest ecology depends. A. Birds live on the upper strata or canopy of leaves of tall trees. Most of them are bright-colored. Tokans and hornbills obtain their food from the upper part of the canopy while parrots and macaws obtain their food from lower down in the canopy. A toucan's most recognizable feature is its beak. It is hollow, lightweight and reaches about half of the bird's body length. This helps it to reach the fruits on distant, weak branches. B. Most of the animals living on trees are arboreal, adapted to live on the trees. Monkeys, lemures, apes, an orangutan have rotating arms for grasping branches. Monkeys have prehensile tail which not only helps them to swing from branch to branch but also to hang down from branches to reach food. The beard ape or the lion-tailed macaque, a medium-sized ape, is one of the most critically endangered mammal in the world. It is found in the western Ghats living most of its life on trees. Its peculiar feature is its shiny black fur and long silver grey mane around the face. It feeds on fruits, seeds, young leaves, flowers and some insects which it searches under the bark of trees. The red-eyed tree frog lives on tree tops, on branches and leaves. The huge bright red eyes are adaptations to scare the predators. These frogs develop sticky pads to provide secure grip on leaves and branches. C. Animals inhabiting the forest floor include leopard, gorilla, and elephant. Asian elephants are commonly found in rainforests of the Western Ghats, Northeast India, and Southeast Asia. Their adaptations are the long prehensile trunk increases its search for better quality food. A single finger like projection at the tip helps them to grab leaves for food. The tusk that are modified teeth can tear bark of trees which is its favorite food. The large ears are helpful in receiving sound waves to hear. They are also used by elephants to fan themselves in humid habitat. Insects from the largest community in tropical rainforest, a variety of insects like termites, mosquitoes, spiders, ants and butterflies are found here. Many of them have brilliant colors. There is intense competition for food and survival in the tropical rainforest. Since a huge variety of species live here, survival from its own predators is a priority and it largely depends on the adaptations. Predator Protection Mechanism 1. Hiding Animals simply hide in burrows, under rocks, under leaves or under tree barks. 2. Camouflage Animals blend into the surroundings with walking stick insects and some butterflies are perfectly invisible when they are still. 3. Scare the predators. Some animals convince the predators that they are bigger or fierce than they really are, with many butterflies have large 
eye designs on wings which make them look like head of large animals. 4. Warning color and scent. Poisonous animals openly advertise their defense with color and scent. When a predator eats one member of the group, it gets sick. The memory stays with the predator who will avoid that animal in future.